Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe. In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Visual Basic, uh, which is a macro, uh, it's a programming for a macro, to uh, write some code and to delete records from a spreadsheet. So we got this spreadsheet, which is a FanDuel export, and it's about 700 lines It's of all the games. And say we want to delete all the records except maybe one team. I'm going to show you the code that we can do that. So... Um, before we get into that, uh, if you like the video, if you can uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe post a comment um, or, or share it. And uh, also check out my uh, video course that I have. I actually got two video courses. I got a mini vi a mini course just on using Visual Basic for daily fantasy sports. Uh, that link will be below. And also I've got my full course of just using, of using spreadsheets for daily fantasy, which uh, is now up to 10 modules. So uh, if you want to check those out, uh, that would be great. So let's get right into the video. Okay, we've got our spreadsheet here. And I'm what I'm going to do, we, we need to start writing our code. So we're going to go up to Developer and then Visual Basic. If you don't have the Developer tab, you're going to have to add it uh, through, through your options. But um, I'm not going to get into that now. I'm just going to go through, through the code. I talk about that more in, in my course. So... We're in our uh, Visual Basic part. We're going to insert a module. And this is where we're going to start typing our code. So I'm going to call this sub, uh, let's just call it delete rows. So everything within here is going to be the code for our, our macro. And what we need to do is let's start, uh, start writing this. So the first thing I want to do is... I'm going to declare a variable, dim i as an integer, because actually, if we go back, what I'm planning to do is we have uh, we got 700 rows. I'm going to start from the bottom, from like say row 700. And I'm going to keep checking if this team, because we're going to have we're going to have a um, input box pop up that say which team do you want to save, and say we put um, say Seattle, it's going to go team by team. And see, if this says Seattle, we'll keep it. If it doesn't say Seattle, we're going to delete that row. And we're going to go all the way up, all the way up to the top. And then when we get to, when we get to the very top, it's going to stop looking at it. Uh, the reason I don't start from, from the top is because if we happen to delete a row, then everything else is going to shift, and then we're going to, we're going to miss rows that way uh, from the shift. So that's why it's best to start, start from the bottom. So let's get back into our code here, and I'm declaring i as an integer. Uh, i is going to base is going to be our row row number, and to declare any, I'm going to declare it as an integer. So next we need to I'm going to put a equal to input box. So a is going to be our another variable, and we're going to type in what our input box. So it's just going to be a pop up. What's going to say which team do we keep so we're gonna it's gonna be a pop-up we're gonna type in whichever team we want to keep like in the example i was saying we put seattle with we'll, uh, we we'll type that in there and now we're gonna start we're gonna assign a value to i so i is equal to 700 so we're gonna start at row 700 and the main part of what we're gonna do is called a do while loop so do while so all this code that's going to be in here because don't do while we first put the condition that's criteria so as, as long as i is greater than zero then we're going to do that do our code and at the end we're going to put a loop so that just means it's going to do all this code and it's just going to keep looping until this condition is met. So once I becomes, doesn't, is not greater than zero. So once I becomes zero, so this 700 is just going to just keep uh, reducing in value. And to do that, what we need to do is start writing our code. And we're going to make an if statement. So if cells, and this is where we put the reference to our cell. And first is the row index, which is the row, which is letter is going to be variable i. And then the column index 
if we go back to our spreadsheet, this is the column that we want to look at because we want to check if the our input box equals this value, which is the team name. So with this column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I comma 10 is equal to A, then, so that's our code, that's the beginning part of our if statement. So we're going to start off at row 700, column 10. So it's going to go all the way down here to row 700, column 10. And with, so there's nothing even there. So that's not going to come up with anything. Is it going to equal to A? A is going to be what our, our box says. Uh, what our input box says, if it does equal to A, so if it equals the team that we want, then we don't want to do anything. So we're going to just leave this blank. So then we're going to put else, what do we do if it doesn't equal to A? We want to delete that row. So then we're going to put rows I, so that means whatever row that is, row 700 dot delete. So that's the code to delete that row. And then we want to put end if. So here's our if statement that we're going to keep running while i is equal to is greater than zero. But what we need one more step because right now i is 700. If it keeps if it keeps like this, we're just going to keep checking cell 700, which is comma 10. It, nothing's going to happen. So we have to do i equals i minus one. All that's going to do is it's going to reduce it every time it loops through. So it's going to look at row 700, then row 699 and 698, all the way up until i equals 0, and then it's going to stop. So that's all our whole code, and this should this should work. So I'm going to close it out, and we'll go up to the top, and now we're going to run it. So all we do that is go up to View, Macros, View Macros, and Delete Rows, we click Run. Which team do you want to keep? B-U-F, let's keep Buffalo. Uh, I'm going to make it case sensitive because uh, I'm pretty sure the code will um, not work if uh, it's not, it doesn't match exactly with the, by the case. So click OK. And now it's processing. It's starting row 700. It's working its way up. And done. So what we did, uh, if you look, all we got left are Buffalo players. Uh, we got Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, uh, and all the way down. So that's how we code. Uh, we actually deleted the the, co the top heading. Uh, probably should have stopped before uh, row one. Should have stopped at row two. But outside of that, uh, this worked perfect. We got all the, the our Buffalo Bill players, uh, just like like we wanted with the code. So that is it for writing the uh, the, the VBA code. Now this is just kind of a quick overview. I don't touch on every I'm not touching on every detail about VBA but if you want to check out my courses the links are down below uh, my, my full course is at spreadsheetschooldfs.com where um, I talk about using Visual Basic for uh, for spreadsheets for daily fantasy along with uh, many other topics uh, including building your own uh, lineup optimizer creating projections and uh, so on so uh, check those out give the uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this and let me know if you get any questions Hope you enjoyed using the uh, Visual Basic, and I'm going to try to uh, pump on a few more uh, uh, Visual Basic videos over the next couple weeks. So that's it, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks.